All right. Good afternoon, everyone. It is 1.10 p.m. on Monday, October 21st, 2019. At this point, I'm calling the meeting to order. And uh, can we begin, please, by standing to pledge allegiance to the flag? And begin, please, uh, with the roll call. Let's begin, please, uh, with Commissioner Elsie Sagata. Commissioner Sagata, present. Chan Lee, present. Commissioner Davis, present. Commissioner Agostini, present. Commissioner Alexander, present. Commissioner Smith, present. Chairwoman Stanford, present. Kathy Kiley, Council of the Board. Commissioner Kringle present. Commissioner Cruz present. Karen Demasi is Commissioner present. Commissioner Corley present. Commissioner Mitchell present. Thank you all. And we are still expecting at least one other commissioner, all others being excused. Welcome to the members of the public who have joined us today. Uh, for the record, off camera appear to be three members of the public here with us today. We have shared with all the minutes of our September 23rd, 2019 meeting. At that meeting, only one member, by my records, was not present for the business, public business portion of that meeting, and uh, that, that member is also not present today, so it appears everyone is qualified to vote on these minutes. So uh, once you've had an opportunity to review them, I would entertain a motion with respect to these minutes. So moved by Commissioner Carlton Mitchell to Second. accept the minutes as presented, sir? Second. Second by, who was that? Lee. Commissioner Lee. Thank you so much. All in favor of accepting these minutes as presented, please indicate by saying aye and raise your hands. Aye. aye. Are there any nays? They are carried unanimously. In terms of our old business, uh, I would turn to our counsel, Kathy Kiley, to share an update with respect to our uh, revocation guidelines and standard conditions. Okay. Our revised. Uh, proposed revocation uh, guidelines and standard condition regulations were published in the New York State Register on October 16th, that was last Wednesday. Um, right now we are in the 45 day comment period. Um, if anyone wants to see the text of the proposed regulations, it can be located under the DOCS website. Um, so that's the actual text of the regulations. But as I mentioned, the actual submission is under the New York State Register, October 16th, and it's ID number CCS, sorry, 05190006RP. Thank you. You're welcome. I believe most of you were able to attend the training. Uh, that we discussed as new business last month, and now it's moved into old business. This was a, a part one of a three-part training on sex offenders within corrections and community supervision. Our second part of that training is going to be held in November, and I would appreciate if uh, you would make every effort to attend that training. They build on one another. They're all very important for our work. Uh, this second part will talk about what happens as they prepare to be released to the community, as well as what happens in the community regarding civil confinement, the special conditions that we set, and the like. Um, and then there'll be a final training after that specific to this subject. Also, as part of old business, 
which was new business last month. I would remind you all to try uh, to complete your online training um, through the Governor's Office of Employee Relations through the statewide learning management system as soon as possible, uh, as well as make sure that you are submitting the training forms that are required to go along with that, that document the fact that it's been completed. <coughs> and I think that concludes the information for, um, that is considered old business. Moving into new business, I want to uh, note that October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. I thank you all for trying to endeavor to wear an item of purple for the sake of uh, acknowledging that fact and, um, and, that, uh, and that what we do, um, certainly in reviewing cases that sometimes include information about domestic violence, um, it appears appropriate to me that, that we acknowledge it in a public way and, um, and, uh, and share in our uh, fellow state agency, uh, the Office for the Prevention of Domestic Violence, in, an, in bringing awareness to this important issue and concern. I don't have any other new business to discuss at this point, which brings me to our correspondence announcements and invitations. So since our last board business meeting, there was a recognition ceremony held by the Department of Corrections and Community Supervision of people who were reaching milestone years in 2018. Of the parole board employees, we had three people who are still in state service who reached 25 years of service as of 2018. They are namely Linda F. Jeffries, Manjula Mahaltra, and Michael Marassa, an ALJ, a preliminary hearing officer, and an administrative staff person. We had someone who was retired in 2018 who reached 30 years as of 2018, and that is um, former preliminary hearing officer Sharon Burnett. Brookwood. We did get some correspondence. Um, it was specifically addressed to panel members for this person's interview. And I'll just read uh, two examples as they're slightly different. This person wrote on, uh, in September of 2019, I need to express my heartfelt appreciation for supporting my release. I genuinely promise that upon my release, I will be a productive and law-abiding citizen. My journey will forever be one of atonement and service. And signed, thank you. To a different commissioner, the same person wrote, thank you for this awesome privilege. I promise you that I will give, I will prove you made the right choice. Thank you for this magnificent privilege. Also thanking the commissioner. In terms of other information to share publicly, the, the board as well as um, the executive team of the Department of Corrections and Community Supervision and of course all of the local uh, employees and staff have received an invitation to the first parole friends and family open house in uh, the Utica area office. One of the things that Deputy Commissioner Anna Enright has begun under her term uh, as uh, being the senior most docs person in charge specifically of community supervision is to support open house opportunities within different area offices around the state for the family and friends of people on parole. And reading from the flyer, this will be an opportunity to meet us have questions answered, and receive useful information. Friends and family, please join us. Thursday, November 14th, 2019, there's a morning session between 10 and 12, and there's an evening session between 4 and 6. And um, it's an invitation uh, extended 
through parolees, through people on parole, to invite their family, friend, or whoever their support system is. Uh, they say that persons under community supervision are welcome to attend, but must bring a family member or a friend. And then there's information about how you RSVP to the department. And uh, when the deputy commissioner made the executive team for the department aware of this opportunity, uh, I asked if the board commissioners were also welcome to attend and she indicated that they absolutely were. So as often as I get these invitations, and I think I sent others in the past uh, by email, as often as I get these invitations, I'll share them with you. I think you'll find, I was told uh, by the, the folks out in Western New York, Buffalo Metro office, that they'll be having theirs after the first of the years at some point. So, you know, you can go to the area office closest to your home office and um, I'm sure they'd be happy to, to have you there. Just let uh, myself and Chelsea, my assistant, know if you're planning on attending so that we can respond on your behalf and so that they can be prepared to receive you. I'm sure, again, they'd be delighted to have some representation from the board at these if possible. Of course, it always is contingent on when they're having them, what day of the week, if, if obviously if we're in interviews still that week, um, the interviews are our priority, so you can't attend something if it conflicts with your interview schedule. But if you're able to make this one, whether it's in the morning session or the evening session, certainly, uh, again, you're welcome to attend. Just please let us know, and I'll send this flyer out to everybody by email as well. All right, I don't have any other announcements or correspondence at this time. Um, is there anything anyone else uh, would like to announce? Any invitation you're aware of? Correspondence you've received? Okay, all right. Then at this point, I would be happy to entertain a motion to enter into executive session to consider privileged legal matters with our council and confidential information related to delinquent time assessments. Uh, I would note uh, prior to that motion that our November meeting will be canceled because we will be having a meeting in December. So the next meeting of the Board of Parole, the next business meeting of the Board of Parole will be December 9th. It's a Monday, uh, second Monday, I believe, in the month of December. You'll get the invitations with those as you do in your due course, but November will be canceled and uh, also different from the schedule that's been posted on the website to date, we are having a meeting in December. We usually don't have a meeting in December. So, and at that meeting, we hope to take up the final vote on our revised regulations. So that's a very important meeting for obvious reasons. We definitely need to have a quorum in December. Uh, so please check your calendars now and uh, let Chelsea know as soon as possible if you think you have any conflicts with that date. And we do understand that I think at least one of you is on vacation. So, so far we can, we can, um, we can uh, uh, continue to approve that because that doesn't impact adversely our, our quorum. But I need uh, as many of you as possible to be here. I would hope that you would want to be here to participate in that final and most important vote. So, again, is there a motion to enter into executive session and at the conclusion of executive session adjourn the board business meeting? I make the motion. Thank you, Commissioner Smith, and second by Commissioner Demosthenes. All in favor, please indicate by saying aye and a show of hands. Aye. aye. Any nays? Okay, we are in executive session and it is 1.24 p.m. Thank you.